now we are with Chris Thomas of the Tobago Visual Arts Association and we're at the uh, event Art on the Beach. Chris, can you tell us a little bit more about what is Art on the Beach? Where would the inspiration have come from for such an event? The Tobago, Tobago Visual Arts Association um, is an association that is made up of local performing artists, local artists um, of different genres. Right. Um, it was started in 2010. So within that time, the Tobago Visual Arts Association as a group have been trying on many occasions to bring artists together in Tobago. So what we decided this year as our first um, event for 2017 was the initiating the Art on the Beach um, event. Now what this event had done after we had collaborated as the executive members of TIVA, um, we realized that after school, because there were several um, initiatives out of this, several objectives actually. Um, one is to involve the young and upcoming artists, and two, to also incorporate um, the, the, the the likes of education, the Education the Ministry of Education and Culture and Tourism as well. Right. It was also an initiative to broaden our database knowing the amount of artists on the island so we can move as one body um, for the recognition of the visual arts here in Tobago. So we're at so Pigeon Point. Are there any other beaches that you're targeting or would it be Pigeon Point? Our mm -hmm. next um, location, um, perspective location, we are looking at the Storby, at Storby, and then we will move on to other areas. Nice. Right, so what do we actually do at Art on the Beach? I actually seeing young people being involved. Is it that artists come and display their art? What is it really? The, it's two initiatives. Right. Um, yes, there are young artists mm -hmm. and what you would see is a lot of students who, um, some are in form four, some are in fifth form, who are doing the CXC. Right, so it's an opportunity for them to come and liaise with some of the professional artists right. that we have here and to iron out any um, any kind of problems that they would be encountering within the yes. So it's school, all about itself. learning as well? It is about learning. As well as we have um, so many professional artists, so we ask artists to display what they have so people can see um, what they're working on and what is finished, the level that they are at. Right, so it's a way of also promoting the local artists. Correct. Yeah, because sometimes people really don't know that that Tobago has so much talent. So, much talent yeah. all around. I find it a really cool initiative. Thank you very much, Mr. Thomas, very for welcome. talking Thank with you. me. I am going to go around. Maybe I might get my hands dirty, you never know. Thank no you. Problem, Well, this is the this right inspiration here. right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Everything is beautiful. Like, um, yeah, go on, talk about the business. Yeah, because this is Art on the Beach via TVA. So, I 
just did some pieces with the inspiration of the scenery here. I did this one earlier in the morning before I came down here. Sunday today, I do as much work as I could, you know, okay. have a family and all that. Once I have some free time, like today I decided, okay, I'm going to come down here and just try to get three pieces in, you know, because that's my life. That is what I do. Some some years ago, I would have seen a piece in, I'm not sure if it's Ins and Out or... Current Magazine, Current Magazine. Ins and Out. Yes, and I think it was with... um. Your baby, she's probably big now. Baby oh, at that time. Two daughters? Yeah, two daughters. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, I was actually didn't see it right now. You know what that piece was? Lipstick. Lipstick, yeah, yes. They were putting lipstick on each other. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that piece. Ins and out. Uh, this year, for Ins and Out, I have an abstract piece. Wait, I have the Ins and Out. Oh, I ain't check this it year? out properly yet. This year? Yeah, 2017. Loads of woke up my children. <laughs> they had a blessing. Now I have a son or God. Really? Yeah. Way. So I every so single long. piece I do those children sell very fast. Very, very fast. Every single piece. So they are blessing. So your children are up in people's homes and businesses. <laughs> yeah, across the way, all over the place, all over the world. Yeah, all over the world. You know, so yeah. that's what I do. So uh, I guess God know that they were going to be blessed, so he sent them to can complain. And of course, they teach what, visual arts? Yeah, uh, visual arts are between the Speyside High School. Uh, well, Speyside, because I know Speyside is a school that produces a lot of good art. You would see them in, yeah, you would see them in the mall or you would see them in, in the um, library. Yes. On the wall. Yes, the guy who did one on the wall, he said Joshua Chami, he's right across in the white shirt. He did a piece on the wall and then we have Saya. Mm -hmm. He's from Spacer? Saya. Saya. Yes, Saya. That's the name I saw, Saya. So she was the last one. So it was Joshua and then Saya was the last one. Right? Yeah. So both Mr. Thomas and myself. 